How to become truly self-actualized. Three things. First, you have to know exactly who you are. Number two is you have to know exactly what you want. And number three, and maybe most importantly, you have to know exactly what you do not want. The reason why most of us walk around life on neutral is because we don't think about these things or because of disappointments. But the person who wants to be truly happy asks himself or herself these three questions. Now, the first one deals with purpose. It deals with who you are in your essence, regardless of what parents or teachers or friends may say, regardless of your trauma, of your past or mistakes, any of that. It's who you are in your essence. And the quickest way to discover that is to go back to your childhood. Who were you when you were just a child? Before all the trauma, before life got difficult, what was your natural state as a young person? Was it peaceful, joyful, extroverted, quiet, reserved? That's the true essence of you. The Bible says, for you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I am familiar with your ways. That's, uh, that, that's the way God really sees you. Number two is to know exactly what you want. And God always tells us that he knows the plans he has for you, declares the Lord. It's a plan to give you a purpose and a hope not to harm you. In other words, God has a plan for your life, but you have to know exactly what that plan is, which comes from knowing what you want. Now, a lot of times for people of faith, this is a very difficult question. We feel selfish. We feel like we shouldn't be asking for what we want. But remember that Jesus said the kingdom of God is at hand and the kingdom is in you. In other words, if you and I have the, man, the mind of Christ, that means that the mind of Christ is going to tell you what you want. Don't worry about wanting the wrong things. Don't worry about wanting things that you don't deserve or that you can't have. Ask God to prune and to guide your thoughts. But remember again, you already have the mind of Christ, so trust His mind. Trust His Spirit. Trust His instinct in you. Trust the kingdom of God that is in you. Speak and tap into that kingdom that is already in you. Because that kingdom, that voice inside of you, will tell you exactly what you want. And then lastly, I think most importantly, is to know exactly what you do not want. And this, again, is one of those things that many people struggle with. Because it feels negative or it feels selfish. But we all know exactly what we don't want, who we don't want, what kind of job we can't stand, what kind of environment we don't do well in, what we don't agree with who we don't want to be with, the kind of person that we don't like, etc. This is very important because it eliminates wasted time and wasted energy. The reason why so many people are walking around just on neutral, like zombies, is because they're giving in to what other people want. They're actually doing the very thing they can't stand doing because of fear, because of negative beliefs. You can only do that for so long. Eventually, Walking around doing the things that you can't stand, not living out of your purpose will catch up to you emotionally, in your body, anger, addictions, frustrations, it will catch up to you. But if you and I begin to live in our essence from the God-given purpose that he's given you, you will experience joy and peace and Gosa, as we call it here in Gosa University, a healing community, by the way. Click on the link below so you can join our healing community. This is a very important topic that I don't think enough people talk about because we're so trained to have it be God's will, not our own. But remember, why is God's will out there and our will is in here? If Jesus is in us, if we are abiding in Christ, if we are his children, then can't you trust that your will is God's will? Stop worrying about wanting the wrong thing or being selfish, or being filled with pride. If you know that something comes out of ego, out of the flesh, then reject it and move on and keep writing down the things that you want, the things you don't like, who you truly are. And remember that first one, who are you? That one may be the most difficult to, to remember because as adults, all we remember are the pains, the losses, or maybe the wins. Because even the wins might not have come from our true essence. That might have been our false 
self, our ego. Who are you truly? Who are you? Ask other people that know you, that are closest to you. Maybe even ask someone who just met you. Hey, who do you think I am? Now, don't believe them 100%. You know more than anyone. And most of all, God knows who you are. But it's good to ask people because they have an unbiased opinion. Most of the time, they can see things clearly, more clearly than you and I can see. Ask the people around you that love you. Ask your husband, your wife, your kids, your friends, your roommate. Ask your siblings. Ask your parents. Who am I? You know, even Jesus, let me close with this, said, who do you say I am? And then the disciples said, well, here's what those people think. And God's like, nope. Well, here's what that person says. It's like, nope. Well, here's what some believe. Nope. Peter, who do you say I am? And Peter, it says that filled with the Holy Spirit, meaning he was connected to his true essence, to God himself. He said, Jesus, you are the son of the living God. You're the Messiah. You are who you say you are. I know who you are. That's really a beautiful thing is to not listen to everyone else's opinion of you, not even your own, not your past, not your present, not your future, not your failures, not your successes, but to hear the voice of the Spirit. Who are you? And from there, what do you want that's in tune with who you are? And then what do you not want that is out of tune, in dissonance with who you are? If you do these things, I believe that you're going to live a life of joy, a life that we call here life of gozo. Gozo means joy. And so I want to encourage you once again to join Gozo Healing University. It's an online community where you can talk to us, join a coaching session, be a part of just our email newsletter where we share tips. And maybe at some point we'll have some sort of gathering where we can meet and talk about these things in person or maybe via Zoom. Thanks again for being here. Make sure that you subscribe, you like, make sure that you hang out here with Gosa University. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time.